holding the other lanes. Rapid Star is holding off mid. And Gun Wung is just soloing Yellow Pete and Crepo, who I thought would be able to take down that way, but they can't get the creeps to stay in the turret, blowing them all away. So much attention is being devoted to Shy, and Azubu Frost is actually supporting him very well, dominating that lane, dominating the game. And this game is close in gold, but from a pressure and control perspective, it's all Shy. We talked about the dominance that Stanley put down. And Shy proving it once again with Sin. He did the exact same thing against SK. Kevin has nightmares about that lane. He insisted it was all about that one kill early on, but honestly, he's proving it right here against Wicked. He is a absolute fantastic Sin. He was kept in a 2v1 lane, and he still managed to hang on in there. He kept his gold up, he did the jungle, they turtled the tower for quite a while, and as soon as he saw that window, he's three levels ahead of Wicked right now. He is destroying, and look at the actual wards coming out by everyone on Azubu Frost. They got six across the team, five different members, they're going to be warding up everything. This tells me that they're looking for early control again. Could we see another early Baron? Could we see another early Dragon? At the very least, it's just to help with the control. Froggen trying to stop that mid lane pressure, but it's all about Shy. It is all about Shy, but the saving grace for COG EU on the back is straight away the fact that Gunwung's been out farmed. So there is going to be damage on Yellow Pete this time around. Where is Shy going? I'm keeping my eye on him in that wolves. <laughs> He's going to come around and towards the middle. I'm not too sure. He's just sticking off to the side there. They spot him. Uh, in the mid lane, you can see very close between the two, but a 2 0 has given the big gold advantage, I believe, to Froggen. I think it's around a around 1,000 gold difference. Crepo going to walk in and immediately puts that little poke on Shy and says, No, I'm not going to let you back quite so easily. Quick power cord and pokes him. Bot lane, though, is still continuing to get forced. And here's one of the big things it's only a 1,000 gold advantage, but Snoopy just hit level 7. Cloud Templar has been sitting on level 9. He's almost 10. There's a 2 level advantage for Shy over Wicked as, as well. They just have more experience across the board. This dragon's coming up in one second. You see the ping going down onto it. CLGU can't contest this. Wicked's trying to catch up by farm the top lane. He's trying to get strong enough to hold off Shy. They're going to pick up this dragon uncontested. And off of this, they might just try to push mid or really go wherever they want because where Shy goes, they're seemingly untouchable. And of course, picking up that dragon will give them yet more experience. And there's experience spread across the team. And yes, you can see that. That midway has been stacked up. As it is, they're pinging across. Ezreal just used true shot for us, so Yellow Pete can't get in that one. Mad Life using those plants to keep them at bay. And that is going to be a very clean dragon pickup. So, gold. Nearly 2,000 difference now for Azubu Frost. And, and all of that 2,000 is actually in Shy. If you just compare Wicked to Shy, 6,100 to 4,100, that pretty much explains it. There's a few back and forth between the other ones. Yellow Pete has more than Wound, and Cloud Templar has more than Snoopy, but really, it, it, it's Shy. It really is. I can't harp on it enough. His Singe is unstoppable right now, and they need to mob him. They need to maybe get some kind of teamfight phase, but right now, Yellow Pete's not strong enough. You need to kill Singe with a very strong AD carry presence, and they just don't have it yet. It's all on Azubu Frost pressure right now. They've taken the dragon, they have the experience. They're gonna try to go down mid here. That tower's at half. How can CLG hold this off? The question is, can they control him when they get to the fights? We're the closing in on the 20 minute mark, the mid fight. They do, of course, have the dart binding. They have the crescendo. They have Wicked Stun as well. Have they got enough to control Shy, Or is he just gonna pop that ulti, sprint through the team, flip someone in there? Are they trying to bait something here? It looked like Frogan was trying to bait something in. Now Templar, of course, could just impale straight away to his yellow peak, drag him in. He will arcane shift away, but honestly, he could get controlled as well. Shy actually popped his ult accidentally there. They thought they had the root down on a Frogan, but he black shielded it at the last second, and that baited him to go in because Shy was going to try to flip Frogan right after that. It just didn't happen, so now he ended up using his ultimate to run top lane. Luckily for him, it's on a pretty short cooldown, 68 seconds. With all that, though, they see a five-man advantage. COG EU should be able to take this blue pretty safely. No shy. That's no pressure for Azubu. They're going to have to give this up. Well, Cloud Templar wants to try and get and snipe this one. They're both trying to smite it away. You can see Snoopy wants to smite it as well. He comes in. They tried to catch up towards Cloud Templar. Woop! Just off the side there, but Twisted Advance already used up on Cloud Templar. Snoopy out smiting him this time around. But shy again off on the side. Free farming. 
and the blue buff is up. He could even take this by himself. He does enough damage. The Rod of Ages and the Hextech Revolver. He's actually doing a lot of damage. 140 AP on to Shy, as well as being unkillable. Even with the blue buff, he's going to be able to have shorter cooldowns on that fling, which are actually doing 440 oh, damage. The and there's a duel in the bottom lane. Wound might fall. Wound might fall here. Yellow P tries to pull him into the bush, but it is going to be Yellow P that picks up the kill. We didn't quite catch the start of that fight. It looked like True Shot Barrage managed to hit early on. That's exactly what happened, and that's the mid-game power spike you get when you go Trinity Force on Ezreal. He got the slow with the Phage proc on that, and that was just Wound getting caught by surprise. They were lulled into just watching Shy go around the map, and he got caught free farming. He'd been safe in that lane for so long, and that was on Yellow Peak. Great job soloing Wound and maybe trying to take their team back into the game pressure-wise. And they might take the mid turret as well. This could be two turrets for COG straight away. Quick response. Three level difference, by the way, between Wicked and Wung and Shy at the moment. And they immediately look at that. Whole team had to react. They could not handle Shy coming around the back of them. And that bottom lane turret will go down. So that is going to be the second turret for COG EU. Even in the turrets, still 1k difference. Advantage of Zubu Frost. Still a very good play there by Yellow Pete. And we saw the fear there by Shy. He has two level advantage on every member of COG EU. And the experience is actually starting to look really bad for them. Mad Life, level 10. Krepo's level 9. Cloud Templar has two levels on Snoop Bay. Shy outlevels all of them. If they can force a fight right now, they're actually going to have a very, very good chance of getting these things. More dragons, more fights. Maybe even if they started baiting Baron, because all they need to do is find a spot for Shy to be unleashed on the back line, and CLG will have to fall away. They have total control here. It's just a matter of getting the mid turret down so they can roll the map more freely. Right now, CLG is actually doing a pretty good job of trying to get through Shy's strong phase so that Yellow Peak gets strong enough to kite him and potentially kill him. So as it stands, Hundred. Well, very even in the mid lane now, actually. 2 to 0 to 1 to 0 1 2. Will of the Ancients has been stacked out by Rapid Start. Expect to see it completed at some point by Shy. As it stands, it looks like he may well go for. Is going to be a bunch of veil on there, or which way will he go? This power bind is landed. Zubu Frost going to pick up his mid lane turret. That is pulling the advantage back to a Zubu Frost. You see True Shot Barrage flashing across, but CLG pretty much helpless to stop that one. They're trying to keep back in the Vachai. is just going to go right back to that lane, continue the pressure. Yellow, Yellow Pete's going over to farm his lane as well. And they actually don't have anyone on their team that can solo Yellow Pete right now. So they're going to send Woong to, to defend. But he's got to be very careful not to get caught in a position. The Aegis of the Legion just getting completed onto Snoopy. That's going to be big for team fights. And a bunch of members of Azubu Frost are coming here for Yellow Pete. He's going to have to pull some tricky oh, moves to get out of this one. Ward. He's on a Tribush Ward. They're just going to wait this one out until that looks like he's about to go back. Maybe he's even looking at the shop now. There's the book shot comes across. He realizes, and you can see the damage trying to Woong there. But Rapid Star's going to come around. And immediately, the Yellow Pete Arcade shifts into it. He is going to go down. Woong is going to get away from that one. He has nothing to respond. And really, that's the team not communicating quick enough, saying they are all coming. He just remembered the kill he got on Woong and thought he could do it again. And that was Azubu Frost with a better memory and a better response. They sent three members there and he almost turned it around right onto Woong again but now he did get the infinity edge so that duel is no longer going to be in huge favor of Yellow Pete. Still stronger though so that's going to be a play for them. 30 seconds on this dragon. They're sending Shy out the top lane. He's going to need a while to push that before they can draw CLG members. CLG might be able to get this dragon if they decide to go for it right away. Azubu slow playing this a little bit. Relying on the split push. Might be a little unwise in the long run. Yeah, Wicked desperately trying to gain those levels, you can see, but Shy, as soon as he appears, he backs off. In which case, it looks like he's going to head towards that dragon. It is up in six seconds, as you can see on your top corner of your screen. Shy is not far behind him, though. He's chasing down. If anything, Wicked's going to be there five seconds earlier, and they're not going to be able to create this. If Shy can somehow flank around behind, we've seen Moscow 5. They're one of the best flanking teams. Really, that's where Shy needs to be. They need to force CLG and stop them from being able to run away. They need to somehow prevent the disengage because they really, all they have is Skarner pull and some Zyra CC. It's all about the extended long team fights, and that's not usually what happens. Will they catch out Wicked? Here's their Skarner all. They do, they impale on towards Wicked. They pull him back. The crescendo goes across. Is it enough? Wicked manages to hop, skip, and a jump, but he's exhausted. He's going to go down. It is Shy that picks up the kill. The dragon's still yet to be taken out. But honestly, now that Zubu Frost have managed to impale on Wicked, they're going to get it for free. And there's nothing at all CLG EU can do about it. That is going to be a Zubu Frost in control yet again. Zubu Frost doesn't want to get poked at. Skarner all. Create the fight. Kill Wicked. Get the dragon. 
four kills on shot. He's looking to go for that Abyssal Scepter. Really becoming unstoppable. This is a big advantage brewing for Azubu Frost. You don't see it in the goal, but the experience is massive. Shy level 16. Froggen and Yellow Peak just hit 14. Living in that top lane. The bans to take out Wicked's Jace and Aurelia look to really be paying off because even though they shut down Shy early with that 2v1 lane, ever since it's been Riven on Singed, he's been completely dominating. And also in the jungle, three level advantage for Cloud Templar. They mirrored that matchup in the last game, and it's really just a Zubu Frost and their coordination helping out the jungler more, and maybe Cloud Templar just finding ways to get experience better than Snoopy because that's the second game in a row Snoopy's fallen behind of Cloud Templar. Yes, indeed. That's why he didn't want to get involved. The fact that he's level 9, he's got the Oracle. Snoopy was just like, we cannot fight this. We cannot get in there. Unless Robin could flash and ulti the entire team, and even then, he'd be able to just get controlled and manhandled. And look at the hit points on Shine now. 4-0, dominant. And Froggen doesn't have his Zonny's Hourglass yet, so if he did flash in, he'd get obliterated right away. There's a pretty good counter-initiation from Azubu Frost as well. It's very hard to team fight through his Zyra ultimate. That's why support Zyra is so potent. And you can see he's actually picking up a fair amount of minions for himself, so you actually know that Woong is 45 behind Yellow Pete, but Madlife has 48 minions to Krapo's 16, so really overall gold from those bottom lanes is pretty close. They're trying to get enough gold onto Madlife just so that he has more of a presence in these later fights. The saplings are trying to scout them out. They're maybe trying to force around here. They really need to flank around the back of COGU. They're walking through a ward. Can they get something? They're trying to Shirelia's in. They're going to go for the Impale. What an absolute clutch Black Shield there. Straight away. And Cloud Templar no doubt was about to Impale there. In fact, he may have been using it. Yes, Burn the cooldown. Burn the cooldown. The Impale came in. Black Shield crescendo across. Brilliant play from Froggen to get that Black Shield down. Perfect timing. Getting too excited here. Sometimes I'm not even stopping to take breaths during my sentences, but Mad Life clearing out that bottom ward. They can still poke around the Baron. They're going to wait for the ultimate cooldown on Cloud Templar before doing anything too sneaky. And actually, they have Vladimir and Singe split up in the side lanes here, and all five members of CLGU with the Dark Binding. This is going to be a very difficult tower to hold. Very difficult. The CLG going to push onto this one. They realize the situation. Shy's a long way off. They've got to have to back off. They've got to be covered. They don't get caught out by any crazy twisted advance from Snoopy. Doesn't want to dive too deep, of course, like I said, but they do know the Impale is not available. Madlife, of course, has his ultimate on their Dark Binding. trying to catch him out there. And they will back off here. Now the Shy is coming down. Shy is heading straight down south. There's Vladimir coming across. Vlad manages to get the ultimate across. Vlad Rapid Star just darks away from that one. Snoopy's going to be taken low. There's the ultimate from Zyra. They do manage to catch across. Collateral damage obliterating Wicked there. And now they flash through. They're trying to catch on. There's a Dark Shield comes through. Shy's trying to make it in. He still has his ult. Ghost coming up soon. They're going to chase this for a while. There's the glue landing on towards Froggen. Froggen is going to get the ultimate straight away. Tries to turn around, tries to do the damage. It does not matter. Krepo's been dropped. Cloud Templar's going to go down bottom. Here comes Shy. Uh, flying in for two minutes. Shy members. with the ghost on, with the ultimate running. He's going to be able to catch on towards Yellow Pete. The slow from Snoopy isn't enough. If he gets the flip, Yellow Pete will drop. And he's just going to finish him off. Oh, the arcane shifts at the crucial moment. And Shy has to back away. Really well played by Yellow Pete. But look at this. No one on Azubu Frost oh, died. They Baron. tried too hard to go in on to Rapid Star. They're going to go for this Baron. How can CLGEU stop this? They're kind of low, but look at this. All five members, 27 minutes in, they have more than enough damage. The Zyra plants chunk it down. And that was CLGEU actually trying to force something. And Azubu Frost doing a brilliant job at counter initiation. Shy wasn't even in on that fight, and they won it regardless. Now with the Baron, how does CLGEU respond? Yeah, and Rapid Star just caught them out with the Hemo Plague straight across the entire team. Oh, Wicked, oh my word. His hop's given him to jump. Has he got enough to get away with it? Cloud Templar has gone. As he paled, it's just come up. Oh my word. He used it and flashed at the exact time. The Impale didn't get used out, though. And he managed to dodge the damage. Wicked just dashing away at the exact right time. If you lose vision on the guy when you try to impale him, it won't go off. If they would have had vision, it would have. So that was just... Almost a lucky use of vision there, but Wicked, when he dashed, he did get out of vision, and it caused the impale. You heard the sound start to play, but it never it actually did, went yeah. off. That was so close to just being Wicked's life, but with this Baron buff, they can essentially tower dive. Shy is ignoring everyone on CLGEU right now. Rapid Star showed he can get caught up by three people and still survive. They have Will of the Ancients for both of them. That even benefits Grey's Zeke's Herald on Zyra. The auras are coming out galore for them. They're looking really strong. They win this game. They're in the finals against TPA. This is huge. This is the Saipei Assassin's going to be sat at the side, sat in the player lounge, watching the match, along with all the other teams. They're all down there. 
watching it. Like I mentioned, the champs of TPA were coming out, showing that they didn't want Moscow 5 in that final. The Asian presence, of course, it will be an all Asian final, Taipei versus Korea. If Azubu Frost were to make it, Cloud Templar's going to get caught with the Dark Bindings from Froggen, but they don't want to engage this or that. He's all Look by himself. They're, he's, they're so scared of him. They used Shirelia's Reverie there. Could use the Impale in a moment. Froggen's used that Black Shield. That's going to run out. Manages to get the Dark Bindings on, but Shy is 2v1 in CLGEU here. Wicked and Snoopy are all in trouble. Froggen's going to get knife. Crescendo goes across. Does use a good, a good Zonia's arrow. Look at Shy. He's just in the middle at the turn.